This is not the video I intended to make. Not at all. Like, I intended to make a very excited, okay, fulfilled video to own the Air Jordan 12 royalty because I don't have the taxi and a lot of us don't. So it made sense to go after the Air Jordan 12 royalty that just dropped this month, swap out the black laces for the white laces. We pretty much have the taxi just a little bit elevated, right? Some gold hints, some accents. I even showed you guys the black reptile that came out in 2019 for women. And some of you said, hey, that's actually a superior pair than the royalty 12. And I respected that too, but... So I also knew there were QC issues. I was aware of that, right? I, just, I saw that on timeline. When I tell you I can't make up how bad the QC is on my pair, let's put it this way. I've already started my return. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think What's going on, everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video of talks with TJ, aka TJ Two Swoosh T Yeezy MA Two TJ. I this is probably a double upload. I intended for this video uh, to be Thursday's video, so you all could see, uh, you know, my thoughts on having the Royalty Twelve in hand and also styling it two different ways. Like I was really excited about two of the fits that I picked out and due to time crunch because again it's my birthday weekend i'm trying to head out you know those last minute little checklist items you're trying to do before you get ready to pack everything up and get situated to leave yeah um had a whole schedule plan like i'm gonna get this 12 in and things were on schedule like i was sitting there patiently kind of impatiently though waiting for ups to drop off my 12s they i got the notification your shoes are delivered so i go and i get the box and i'm like oh there's not just do it tape on here so we're starting off well and you know as i'm unboxing i only pick up one shoe at first of course because you're just you're you're just going through you're doing what you normally do and then i decided to you know lace swap one of them and that's when i saw it how is there a whole scuff on my shoe and it's coming from nike itself how is there an entire whole piece of leather missing from the upper of my shoe whole piece just it's just gone it's just gone and if you look at all of the other areas of the shoe which this happens uh, for GS shoes like consistently sometimes. So not that shocked. I am shocked it's happening on a lot of men's sizing pairs too, but there's just so much glue. Like there's glue on the gold mug guard, which is very evident because again, it's gold. There's glue all around the, the part of the seam where the mug guard actually meets the upper. Um, this was just a poorly executed pair all around and I don't know if this was like a sign sit down maybe you've already spent enough for your birthday month on yourself I don't know uh, at this point will I buy something else P possibly I just I don't know what it'll be you know like I said I've started the return now I had every intention to be able to show you guys like hey here are the similarities and differences to the Air Jordan 12 uh, black reptile for women and now that I still am able to hold them hand in hand next to each other I will absolutely say the Black Reptile is superior. Now, again, this could possibly be because I have a women's sneaker and that woman's sneaker or women's sneaker, sorry, it will uh, follow along more closely in terms of execution and detail and proportions to a men's pair versus a GS pair. So like the very thin mud guard that goes around, it wraps around more on the front of the toe box area for the women's pair than the grade school pair, which I really appreciate. Um, everything else, just sizing proportion, like even on the back tab where you have the Jordan quote, you know, that's there that we're used to seeing, that is much larger and takes up more real estate and i appreciate that more so seeing it in hand seeing the lack of qc problems with the women's 12 versus the plethora of qc problems with this gs12 like i just all right so you can't uh you can't have it all i guess so for everybody that's like now oh you seem to hit on everything yeah well i hit and what did i get okay because i'm not 
I'm not keeping it. So that's not to say I don't have tons of pairs that I love that come out wonderfully for me that I own, but this is that one that did not. So yeah, it's going back. I don't have fits to show you guys. I mean, I'm pretty sure sometime, sometime down the line, because I know that I'll wear my Black Reptile 12, I'll absolutely go ahead and show you guys what, um, you know, how I would style it. So yeah, no royalty 12 for me. Guess I'll get that 149.80 back or however much I spent on this pair. And hopefully you fared better. So please just sound off. Again, this is a very, you know, this is a video I didn't anticipate making. It is very disappointing. And hopefully, you know, your pair was far better than mine if you've already received it in hand. I really hope you're able to enjoy it. I really wanted to enjoy my pair, but that's just not something I can do. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, if you like other content that you see and you're not subscribed, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I truly appreciate it. Jordan Brand, I still love you. We just gotta be better when it comes to these QC problems. Oh, also, extra age, not your shoe size. Peace.